I am sneezing because this book nook is downstairs where Dot lives, who I'm allergic to. Before I show you any books, I have to plug my Girly Pop merch. They are embroidered tie-dye hoodies, super nice quality. Go get one for the fall and winter time to keep you cozy. But let's get into the video. Hi, Reader Pops. Welcome back to some book videos. This is the ultimate book video. We're gonna go through every single book I own. My book collection, if you will. A little shelf reorganization. I'm trying to talk quietly because this whole book nook situation is located underneath a set of stairs. So this is what it looks like. So that's why it's dark in here and super echoey. But I pulled out all of my books for you and I thought we could rearrange them and I could show you every single one of them as I go through them. So you're gonna get to see all the authors I like, genres I read, everything like that. I guess we should just start. My biggest section is romance, obviously. So here's all my romance books and I'm gonna keep all the authors together. So my first author that I own the most books of, I believe, is Colleen Hoover. I've read Ugly Love, It Ends With Us, Verity, November 9, All Your Perfects, and this is the latest one I bought that I haven't read, Heartbones. In order to conserve space, I'm gonna put it horizontal. Does that conserve space or is that like the same amount of space? Then I think I'm just gonna put all like the book talk books. So we have Song of Achilles, The Hating Game, Beach Read, and People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. What an iconic duo of covers. And then I only have two Christina Lauren books, Love in Other Words and Unhoneymooners. Love in Other Words is by far one of my favorite romance books of all time. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, which I didn't like. It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, which I did like. The Deal by L. Kennedy, LOL. I only bought the first book and I never bought the rest of the series because I didn't like it that much. I have the Brown Sisters series. I only read the first one, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and I didn't really like it, so I didn't continue it. But aren't they like just the cutest covers ever? <laughs> Cute, cute. Dang it, I'm getting an allergy attack in the middle of this video. It's so dark under here, but hopefully it's like a cozy reading vibe. This is another romance series. This is the Bromance Book Club and then Undercover Bromance. And then there's a third book that I don't have. So I'm gonna put this on top. Okay, cute. That's saving a lot of space actually. And then keeping in theme with like the cute covers, we have You Deserve Each Other, While We Were Dating. I haven't read this one yet. The X Talk, The Love Hypothesis, but this is a book of the month book and I'm kind of considering keeping it with other book of the month books, but I'm not sure yet. So I don't know. It's also hard cover and Spanish love deception. So I'm gonna put all of these together because they're so cute. We have Emergency Contact, which is a, the only young adult romance I have. And then Loveless by Alice Osman. Before We Were Strangers, so good. Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. Got this for reading someone else's five star books and gave it two stars. I really did not like it. And then this massive Wall of Winnipeg book by Mariana Spada. Hopefully I have more books by her, but they're all so long and I didn't like love this one. So I haven't gotten any more of hers. And the ugliest book I have, no offense, no offense, but um, Small Town Dreams by Nora Roberts. I was on like a tiny island in the Florida Keys. The only thing they had was a CVS that had books, so I just bought this and I read the first story in it. It actually wasn't that bad, but. So I hate like the old school <laughs> small books like this. They give me the ick for some reason. Okay, so this should round out. Put these all back here. Oh my gosh, perfect. That is all of my romance books. So that's perfect. Other than Pride and Prejudice, but this is a classic, so I kind of want to have a classic section. I just don't have any other than this one and the bell jar, but that's our first shelf. Okay, next I want to do series on the top shelf. I have the longest series I've read so far. It's the Addicted slash Calloway Sisters series. So this is the Addicted series. It's got Addicted to You, Ricochet, Addicted for Now, Thrive, and Addicted After All, right? So that's five books, but you read it intertwined with the Calloway Sister series. I mean, you can read it either way, but I read it the recommended intertwined way. So this is the Calloway Sister series. Kiss the Sky. These covers are all so weird. <laughs> Hot House Flower, Feel the Fire, Long Way Down, and the huge epilogue book, Some Kind of Perfect. This is the one book I haven't read in it because it's like nearly 700 pages. I will read it one day. I just don't want to close out this chapter in my life of reading about this family because I love it so much. So then the other series that I have, I cannot wait to read this. This is actually nominated for a Goodreads Choice Award. It's the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. So we got this one and then Good Girl Bad Blood and As Good As Dead. And the covers of these are so cool. We'll put that here. And then I've got this series, the Crave series. So we've got Crave, Crush, and Covet. And then we have this duology of Fable and Namesake, which is a pirate type fantasy. Haven't read this yet. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I know it's so gross that I got the Netflix version of this cover. This is when I first started reading and I didn't know what I was doing. And I haven't read Crooked Kingdom yet because to be honest, I, I just wasn't obsessed with Six of Crows, but don't kill me for that. A series I was obsessed with, The Inheritance Games and The Hawthorne Legacy. They just announced a third book and I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite series or duologies or fantasy books that I've read this year. 
I have the paperback and hardcover, so that kind of bothers me. So maybe when the third one comes out, I, I'll buy them all in hardback, but so good. Oh, this is perfect because it's the last series I have. This is something I just bought. This is the Ravenhood trilogy. I read the first chapter on my Kindle when I was traveling. I just got that feeling that I was going to love the series and bought the entire series. And then I kept reading and it's like way spicier and saucier and like the vibe is just way darker than I usually like in my books. So I'm actually not going to ever read this, I don't think. I don't know what I want to do it with it yet. I don't know if I want to donate it, give it away. I'm just giving you guys a heads up because on my channel, I do like to warn you if you're trying to avoid spice, avoid this series. I am so out of breath because of my allergies, but it is a romance. So I guess I'll put it next to this romance series. Oh, I don't have the Twilight series or else I would put that here. I only have Midnight Sun and Twilight. I just need one book here, so that's gonna bother me, but we'll just leave it there for now. Okay, let's do the bottom shelf. So down here, I have all of my Christian books, and I'm gonna move these upstairs to where I have a desk that has like a bookshelf on it. I'm gonna put all these there, and then I have, oh, see, I forgot I had this because it was by my Book of the Month books, The Vanishing Half, which is just a fiction book, and then I have Book of the Month books because they all line up like this. I thought that's really satisfying. And then this is so funny. I got the Kardashian fiction book that they wrote because I thought it'd be really funny to read it. Let me know if you want me to do it. They literally wrote a fiction book about a rich family. Should I make a vlog reading this? Let me know. Okay, so I actually have a lot of general fiction books. I think I'm gonna put my like thriller mystery books first because I like those better. This is my only horror book. It's Bunny. And then for murder mysteries or dark academia, I have If We Were Villains, The Secret History. In My Dreams, I Hold a Knife, Truly Devious, Ninth House, which I heard is actually like really dark. So I don't know if I'm gonna read that. The Southern book club's guide to slaying vampires and the silent patient these are all kind of the same category so i'll put these here and then i have fantasy books we hunt the flame it's getting so dark i'm so sorry is it a vibe or is it just dark we hunt the flame these violent delights which dot shoot up a little bit a deadly education and the night circus midnight sun is fantasy so we'll put all these oh and the firekeeper's daughter the invisible life of Addie larue vicious by the same author the atlas six my favorite and the poppy war so we're running out of space so i feel like i should just do another stack because i really don't have that many books left so i'm gonna put all my book of the month books down here and then i'm just gonna do my general fiction so we have little fires everywhere pride and prejudice Prejudice and the bell jar, which these are my only two classics, but I would love to have a full shelf of classics one day This is how you lose the time war station 11 and spoon benders, which was sent to me Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe Y a fantasy. I can't wait to read that These are my three Sally Rooney books that I have which some of these are romance But she's kind of just general fiction. So beautiful world. Where are you? Which is her newest one conversations with friends and normal people This is actually a romance, but we were liars TikTok book such a fun age general fiction Fiction, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So I'm keeping that with her other book, Malibu Rising, which both have romance in them, but they're not like romance books. And then Anxious People by Frederick Bachman, super unique fiction book. Dial A for Aunties, which is like a comedic book just last night, which I thought was romance, but apparently it's more so a fiction that deals a lot with grief. And then The Vanishing Half, which I have yet to read. And lastly, the Kardashian book. That really does not deserve to go by Pride and Prejudice, though. Maybe we'll just hide it back here for a little bit until I get to reading it. Shall we do an overview? Hi, sweet boy. These are a bunch of nonfiction books, so Rainbow, obviously, and I don't agree with, like, some of those authors on there, so if you see a book on there, it doesn't mean I agree with them, okay? For example, Joyce Meyer. Okay, anyways, here's my part of the shelf. We've got our series. We've got our romance. Jeez, I'm so sorry how dark it is, guys. Our fantasy, thrillers, murder mysteries and general fiction. I guess this is my current book collection. These are the rest of the books. If you want Christian book recommendations, I have an entire video about that. So these will go upstairs at my desk, but that's it. That's the book collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too chaotic. And now you know every single book I own and I will see you guys somewhere else on the internet. Bye guys.